Happy holidays to my YouTube followers. This is John Demokis, aka Half Man, Half Cichlid. I'm really excited today to talk about uh, a DIY project that I've worked on that's really revolutionized uh, my options in setting up an aquascape. And that is uh, the type of background that I use. Uh, let me first describe my dilemma with my 340 gallon uh, behind me, which has uh, uh, the new background we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Uh, first of all, I needed the fish to show up. This aquarium is viewed from two sides of the room. My desk where I work is on the other side of the room. And uh, the fish really didn't show up looking through. Plus, uh, I wanted to retain the option for two-sided viewing, even if I were to put a background on the aquarium when I wanted to view the aquarium from my desk. And, uh, you know, I've been in the hobby 60 years. I've done other back uh, videos on backgrounds, aluminum foil, which I think are really neat too. But I wanted to use what I've learned having tried just about every option for a background. So for me, just let me play back what's important uh, in a background. First of all, it looks spectacular. I mean, it accentuates uh, the way the fish look. Uh, it's easily interchangeable. If you notice, I have some Millennium uh, Australian rainbows in the aquarium. And some other backgrounds I tried, like black, uh, they were lost. So I wanted something that, uh, you know, I, I, I can change given the fish that I have and the ability to maximize how they show up. Uh, I didn't want to do any painting on an aquarium because once you paint the back of an aquarium you're, you're stuck so to speak. I, I've done the intake backgrounds and although they look spectacular I didn't want all the problems associated with the installation, taking up room in the tank, uh, detritus collection, fish getting stuck behind them, and their extreme expense. Which leads me to the next point. I wanted a background that was uh, uh, very inexpensive, very inexpensive, and a 10-minute uh, install. My in-tank background in my 500 took me like three days to install. The instructions from Aqua Decor uh, didn't work with an, an acrylic tank, but uh, you know I didn't want to repeat some of the problems I've had uh, with other installs. So I want to introduce you to my shower curtain background. It's something I bought on Amazon for uh, less than twenty hour, uh, twenty dollars. I'll show you the details in a second. But you can also rear illuminate it if you want. Uh, you can change it out with another background in a matter of of minutes. Uh, it's you know inexpensive. I believe it's spectacular. If you look at my Millennium Rainbow Fish, they show up really great. It's not an in-tank background, so I don't have to mess around with all those problems. And uh, again, it was only a, a, a 10 minute uh, install. So there's uh, a number of DIY projects that I've worked on over the years. And uh, this one for the time and investment uh, it far exceeded uh, my expectations, and uh, I, I hope uh, you consider it too in, in, uh, when you set up a background for uh, your new aquarium. 
I'll provide a link on Amazon where I bought this particular background. But one of the beauties of this, excuse me, there are thousands, literally thousands of shower curtain options, uh, many of which look very natural, very many of which look very good with an aquarium many of which you can match to the color of the fish uh, that you want. So uh, in any event, I, you know, I can't rave enough about uh, how easy this thing was to install and how spectacular uh, I, uh, it, it turned out for me. And I wanted to share this uh, uh, to my Facebook followers. So anyway, I'll give you a few more details when I go behind the aquarium on how this thing uh, was set up. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. This is the back, <coughs> the back side of the aquarium. And as I mentioned, uh, it's a two-sided aquarium, so I can easily remove or just slide the, uh, the shower curtain to the right if I want to uh, uh, have a, a uh, see-through situation where I can view the aquarium from both sides. Another challenge I had, by the way, with this uh, finding a background was the size. I mean, this is a, a uh, six-foot tank that's uh, three feet tall and uh, looking at backgrounds that adhere to aquariums, uh, I had trouble finding the right size. But in any event, it's it's pretty darn simple. You can see there's a, uh, I've got uh, a shower rod up there with shower rings from which the, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on one of them. Yeah, I've got a shower rod up there with shower rings from which the shower uh, curtain hangs. And uh, as an option, and this isn't uh, necessary, but I uh, put, in, put in a six-foot light to illuminate the uh, background, but uh, it also looks very nice with the light off. So I, you know, I consider the, uh, the uh, light, rear light illumination to be an optional uh, feature depending on what type of effect you want in your aquarium. As you can see, it, it goes all the way down to the back. Now I'm back in the uh, front of the aquarium. Closer view, you can see again how well the growing school of Millennium Australian rainbows shows up against the background as well as some other fish that were pretty much hidden like the uh, red-shouldered uh, Severum. So in closing, uh, you know, again, it's uh, everything I think you would want in a background, ease of installation, inexpensive, spectacular looking, easily interchangeable. Uh, I'm achieving all of that with my $20 Amazon shower curtain suspended on the back of my aquarium. Hope it gets the uh, creative juices flowing for your aquarium and making it more beautiful in 2022. Happy New Year, everyone.